Yeah. I would say that was my number one state to live in, in the world. Like as far as a state goes, mm-hmm. there's nothing like that place. Blue skies, um, great weather, didn't rain as much. And just, it's, it's tropical paradise. It's like living in the Caribbean, but it's yeah. a state or if you like you was in Puerto Rico or something. And um, yeah, so, you know, being there and deploying and back in those days, my brother and I were in the same battle group. So as he deployed, we deployed. So I remember, you know, meeting him in the Bahrain um, gym, basketball gym, before they had an actual <laughs> base there. And, and I thought that was uh-huh. so cool. He was already running a full. Um, and I'm like, man, they, I could see my brother. We're in the Middle East together, mm-hmm. you know, and it was a fantastic feeling. Uh, and of course, I'm in the squadron. He's on the ship. And so yeah. I had a little bit of more perks, uh, access to the duty van to pick up him and his boys 15 deep. And we can go uh-huh. on different um, adventures. And, and the best part is when we went to San Diego on a, on a like a workup for deployment. And I picked his boys up from the pier and we could, you know, drive right down to the border of, of uh, Tijuana. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right there. And then we walk across the bridge. You know, uh-huh. I wasn't that crazy as a young sailor, but and, and go have a good time. And, you know, compared to like today's age.